Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today we have a pencil accessory. Uh, we have a pencil sharpener here. This is one that I picked up over the summer at a sale and I just I saw it and it was just really interesting to me and so I was uh, thought let me let me see what this is about it's a little bit in rough shape as you can see uh, this is a Dexter pencil sharpener and uh, it is uh, made by the Automatic Pencil Sharpener Company of Chicago, Illinois, USA. And um, I am not quite sure of the era that it's from, but uh, a little research said that it might be from the 1920s. On the very bottom here, there is... Uh, Made in the USA, patented under one or more of the following patents. So the latest patent date here is September 13th, 1921. Other patents pending. So maybe it's from the 20s, maybe it's from the 30s. Uh, not sure um, when it is. But uh, we can take a look at it. It has, uh, let, let's just start with sort of the frame. Um, it's very heavy uh, steel frame here's the bottom and by the looks of it it was probably screwed on to um, a counter uh, a workbench or something uh, at one time I'm going to guess and uh, it is very heavy it's a very heavy gauge steel uh, used here in the actual frame that sort of holds the pencil sharpener this sort of u-shaped piece here uh, it was probably in a workshop because you can see <laughs> the paint drippings on it um, and if we want to start at the top of this sharpener here you have two little lubrication points here um, for I'm assuming oiling the bearings you can see you can depress this here I haven't put any oil in it uh, but maybe put a drop or two of oil in there it would drip down into the bearings here and the bearings here on this sharpener so certainly um, and it probably by the feel of it it probably could use a little bit of oil um, uh, and by the feel of it though this was this sharpener was meant to last a long long time uh, and the fact that they allow you to oil the bearings in the sharpener um, you can see it was really meant for for a long use the, the this side of the sharpener here this is on a hinge uh, if you can see there's the hinge uh, however I cannot get this to open and my only assumption is is if I could get it to open I'm gonna put a little oil on there and see if I, I it just won't budge it's, it's just frozen on it'll it'll wiggle a little bit but I'm guessing this hole is sort of bored for a standard pencil um, and if we could flip this little door up, it would reveal a wider, a larger circumference opening to uh, allow for a larger, thicker pencil to be put into the sharpener to sharpen. Um, I'm assuming. <clears throat> if anybody, and I know there are those of you out there who collect pencil sharpeners, so... Maybe somebody knows that whether or not I'm I'm right on that or wrong, and if if please let me know. Over on this side, we where we have the the handle, the crank. Here, you can see it's 
it's attached by these three screws, this mechanism. Um, and I believe that's probably what is holding this whole thing in place. If we want to look at the the outer shell, this is a type of plastic acetate, some sort of, it's very thin, um, and so I'm trying to be careful with it because it may be on the fragile side as well. The top of this is interesting. Uh, it is, it's so dirty you can't tell, but this is actually, this part here is actually clear. So you could see, you can see the inner workings of the sharpener. And then it's, it's the orange kind of film that's put on, on the other side of the, the top opening. So you can see this is a dual cutter style sharpener. You have two circular cutters here that rotate around the pencil sharpener. And then on one side of it you have this which lifts up. See that? That's, there we go. You have this. Um, it's like a guillotine. Uh, I'm not I'm trying to understand its function. It does not go down into the sharpener. Um, I don't know if this is a release mechanism for uh, the blades or what that actually is. I'm trying to understand what it does. Again, um, pencil sharpener collectors, enlighten me, please, on what this does. I just not sure. It's there for it's not there arbitrarily. It it's obviously serves a function, um, but I don't I don't quite understand what it is. Here we go. Yeah, it could use a little bit of oil. There were some shavings in here when I bought it and I took them out because I didn't want them falling all over the place, but it's not bolted down on anything. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to put a pencil in here and see if I can kind of hold the pencil in and see if we can get some of the sharpening. It's going to be a little, a little tricky here. Uh, see if we can get some of the sharpening action. You know, now these rotary sharpeners often only have one circular blade uh, and they don't do nearly as good of a job as the old dual blades. Well, was not an ideal circumstance here, so you can see I marred up the pencil a little bit, but I need to put it on a, I need to secure it to something a uh, bit much better than just, it's not meant to be handheld. But a really interesting old pencil sharpener, uh, the Dexter. And again, like I said, from all indications, this was really meant for heavy duty long term use. Um, and it <laughs> certainly appears that it got it. Um, and a uh, little, little um, tarnishing and, and rusting here on the, on the base. Certainly gives it character, I think. And, um, you know, I, it reminded me, I have a number of pencil sharpeners. I don't collect them per se, but if I see one I like, I pick it up. And maybe I should do more pencil sharpeners on Always Analog, so I'll try to do that if I remember. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to 
share this latest little find here uh, on the Dexter pencil sharpener made in Chicago, Illinois, um, likely during the 1920s. Uh, and I think it's really cool. So thank you for spending a little time with me and with this pencil sharpener. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon right here on Always Analog.